Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the AGV Sport Mission Jacket available at Revzilla.com. So the AGV Sport Mission Jacket is going to be three season in its functionality. It's going to be a summer oriented jacket with enough baked into it to be able to stretch into the fall and the spring months. And you're also going to be looking at a jacket that's going to be a leather textile hybrid here. Now, there's also going to be a full sleeve rainproof liner in here. So if you're someone that are going to be, it's going to be spending a lot of time out in the rain, you're going to be able to keep yourself nice and dry with the liner installed. And it's also going to work as a wind blocking layer again for those cooler months. Now it's going to be a waist cut jacket, slight pre-curve to the sleeves, and this is going to be something that you're going to be able to use with a variety of different motorcycles in your garage. Tony's a guy who's rocked a Thruxton, he's rocked a Harley, and really you could use this with any of those bikes. You're going to notice that Tony's 5'10". He's at 190 pounds with a 42 inch chest. We have him in a medium in this jacket. Now I will say this, if you're looking at AGV size chart, according to the size chart, Tony should be in a small. Keep in mind we sized him up to fit him into a medium. You're probably gonna wanna do that as well. This jacket actually has a nice sport cut to it. Now sizes are gonna range from small to 3XL and there's gonna be two colorways available. We have Tony in the all black version. There's also a black and high vis option for you high vis folks out there. AGV Sport is really known for giving riders a lot of performance without breaking the bank. The Mission Jacket, it's going to come in around a $100 price point. And to be honest with you, for around $100, you're getting a ton of functionality baked into this jacket. Now, if you do want to move up to something a little bit more seasonal, maybe a little bit more protective, take a look at the AGV Sport Laguna Textile Jacket. That would be the step up from this in AGV's family. But again, for the $100 price point, let's break this down and talk about what you're getting. So first and foremost, the construction on this is going to be a 600D polyester. Super durable, super rugged in case you go down. And you're also going to have leather in all the impact zones, so the shoulders as well as the elbows on this. Now, breaking this down from the top, you're going to see there's going to be massive air vents as well as the leather just accents going across the top to give you that overall look. And just a little bit of an AGV branding on the left hand shoulder, but again, nothing too aggressive. The one thing I want to point out with these actual air vents, the air vents on this are absolutely massive. Now, this is not a good thing, this is not a bad thing. For the summer months, it's going to breathe a ton of air, but you do need to consider that each of these air vents adds about three inches to the circumference of the jacket. So if you were to open up the two air vents on the front, as well as the two air vents in the back, you're adding about 12 inches around, and the jacket does tend to be a little bit baggy with all those air vents open up. Just something to consider. Zipping that back up, the CE rated armor is going to be in the shoulders and the elbows on this one, and you are going to see YKK zips throughout the entire jacket. There's no snap adjusters throughout the arm, but there is going to be an expansion at the wrist, and if you actually peek underneath here, you can see that's going to be the rain liner kind of peeking out. Again, YKK zips throughout the entire jacket, nice little addition to it. And I will say, again, for the price point this jacket's coming in, the armor they use in this is actually quite comfortable, so a big thumbs up to AGV for that. Tony, I'm going to have you turn around and throw your arms up in the riding position. Now you're going to see there's going to be a nice gusset at the shoulder, allows Tony to move around quite nicely, quite flexibly, and you're also going to see accordion stretch panels along the waist. So if you are in the seated position, if you do have a little bit of a belly to you, this is going to expand nicely and the jacket will not be uncomfortable when you're out there riding around. Again, very comfortable little option from this. Go ahead and turn around and face backwards for me, Tony. And we're going to work our way down. There's not too much going on here, but there are a few things that I want to point out. So first of all, the neoprene collar on this is super comfortable. They did a great job giving you a collar that's really just going to be a nice comfort upgrade to the jacket. You're also going to see those same massive air vents along either side of the back. Again, with those air vents in the front and the back opened up, this is going to be a jacket you're going to be able to rock through the entire summer months, and the airflow through is going to be absolutely tremendous. You're also going to see those nice leather accents that were done in the front are going to be done across the top of the back as well, across the shoulder blades. And the last thing I want to point out here is going to be the back pad in this. This is a back pad. It's the first thing you want to get rid of and upgrade. You want to go ahead and put a force field in this. The force field back pad is going to, or the force field back protector rather, is going to fit perfectly in the pocket of this jacket. Tony, you can turn around and face the front for me. I'm going to have you go ahead and unsnap it. It's going to be a snap collar. And go ahead and unzip it. And again, YKK zips in the jacket. You're going to see the full sleeve thermal rain liner in this. And you're also going to have a Napoleon pocket. There's also going to be a little entrance way for those of you out there. If you want to put your iPad or your iPhone in the Napoleon pocket, you're going to have a little gusset that's going to allow you to run your headphones out of that. Again, for those of you that like to use headphones in your ride, just a nice little addition. The only thing I will say is if you are using this with the Rainliner in, 
it can be a little bit hot and stuffy and uncomfortable. So keep that in mind. If you're using it with just a t-shirt, it does feel a little bit sticky against your bare skin. Tony, you can go ahead and zip that up for me. And while Tony's zipping this up, again, I just wanna say that I think for around that $100 price point, the Mission Jacket bakes a ton of functionality into it. There's a lot of folks out there rocking AGV sport jackets. If you wanna hear more about what they have to say, do me a favor, click below. Read what other riders are digging about the AGV sport jackets in their closets. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate, get us on the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the AGV Sport Mission Jacket. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.